We are in hockey country. To be clear, the state of hockey here in Minnesota and the Wild are ready to do exactly that. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Quick feed to McKinnon. Oh, and it goes off the outside of the post. A huge opportunity there, James, to get the go-ahead goal in this game. You know what that does? It creates a ton of momentum, but the fight stops it. And he's ridden off the puck. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Eric Sinek. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Takes the feed. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Colorado's won the faceoff. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. He doesn't like the call, but it's the ref's discretion, and he's going to the penalty box. Man advantage unit is set. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And they get that puck down the ice. The center feed! Picked off in front. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Avs are getting two minutes for elbowing. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. A chance of the rush here. Sends it across. And that's broken up by a great defensive play. Slides it over with pace to Goudreau. There's a shot. over to Zuccarello. Slides the puck across to Johansson. Well, it's not a long period of time, but they'll have a brief power play here as the penalty expires. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. The Wild have been penalized for tripping. Things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in... Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. And it's go time. It's go time right off the hop and fighting, physical and emotional dictating of the pace. And it's going to be a great one. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. The road team's bench is banging their sticks, standing up as they cheer on their player, and that tilt went their way. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-one all over. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Slotted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. All alone! Oh, the eyes of the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. 
And as he skates back out onto the ice, it's a blast. He certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Minnesota's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it to Poldy. And it's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. On the left side, he moves it up ahead. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Look at this, two on one. A pass! Shuts the door! What a save! We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. one nothing the score. The Avs take possession here inside the offensive zone. Gustafson's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Colorado still down here in the first despite the multiple scoring opportunities. Johansson's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. Quick pass to Manson. Takes it across the blue line. Shot, denies him with the pad. Scores, and they tuck it into the back. Get on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. Well, clearly not happy with the ref's decision, but they'll have to play on with this face-off. Minnesota's won the draw. Slides it across to Foligno. Here's a shot! Georgiev's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. McKinnon's hard to shove off the puck. That's his unstoppable force zone ability. More than half the frame has been played here. Colorado's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And he gets in the lane to block that. Colorado's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Poked away in the offensive end. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Gustafson's going to hang on for a whistle. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Quick feed to Maroon. Tosses it on to Colton. Slides the puck over to O'Connor. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. They're dropping the mids. Here we go. Well, the game got physical with that big hit. This is a challenge. Why not continue? There's the takedown. I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting. But what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. Uh, James, there can be so many consequences to fighting, and, and this is the danger. And you can just see him struggling to get up.
the key to the umbrella on the power play, James, and we saw it earlier, is when you have three up high across the ice, you actually pull the coverage up a little bit. If you do that, you can open up cross seams with good motion, but you gotta get the defense running. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Erickson X won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they take care of business on the play. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, and an even bigger save on the slapper. Gets it out of his own end. Directed over to Erickson X. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Johansson's got it in the offensive zone. Angles it over to Byron. Scores! And just like that, we are all tied up. A huge change of momentum with that shorthanded goal, James. They went out there just to kill off the power play. Instead, they wind up getting the equalizer. Well, this shorty just shows you how quickly the game can change. You're down by a goal. You want to make sure that the deficit isn't two and kill it off. And you wind up going the other way and getting the shorty, which winds up being the equalizer. Colton's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Colorado's got possession while undermanned. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Kaprizov's going to play it against the half wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. Hammers a shot, and that's blocked. Sends the pass over. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Georgiev. And he'll hang on to the puck for a much needed whistle. Well, and this is huge change. The ability to slow the game Get a line change. There's no one happier than the coach right now. Colton's ready for the try as they continue to be shorthanded here. Duran standing up, ready to go. Nice job to escape the zone. Minnesota's coaches will not be liking that power play opportunity as they fail to convert and give up a shorthanded one. The big question here, James, is what are you going to do next? You gave up a shorty. you got to find a way to get back in the game. What I mean by that is you have to reset, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally, and get back on track. Plays the puck up ahead. Wax it into the offensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. And it's a quick pass to Hartman. From the right side and up the middle. Here's a short pass to Johansson. And he takes a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Over the line they come. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. They put the puck into the offensive end. Byron stick handling in his own zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. Johansson's got the puck. Here he is on the back end. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Moves it quickly over to Hartman. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Brings the bill on the coast. With a chance to go ahead and a huge opportunity right there. It's gonna go off of the pipe and out. Quick pass across to Lekanen. In close, denies the chance by blocking it. And it's kicked away. and they can't connect. 20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. This is our team poster giveaway. If you'd like a sticker on the inside cover of your program, we'll make it O'Connor's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game and now we know for sure he won't be back. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And he posts it up with the pass, and he rings the post. Caves plays it into the offensive zone. Walker side save. Lowers the boom with that hit. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Serving that five-minute major for 
for fighting, and it's certainly appreciated to have a physical element to your game. You know his teammates certainly appreciate it, but man, you gotta find a way to generate offense, and the only way you can is when you're on the ice. Gains the zone through center. Makar's got it against the boards. Now a quick pass to Lekanen. Sends it over to Kaprizov. Quick shot, makes a save. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Taken by Middleton. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Moves it to Byram. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. They fight for it along the boards. Take it along the wall by Goudreau. Oh, he'll feel that one. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Fires it on net. And it's turned aside by Georgiev. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Great reach by Hartman. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Stones him in front. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Still lots of time left in the period. It's all tied up. Minnesota's got the win off that draw. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Picked up along the boards by Wood. He carries the puck up along the wing. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Quick pass to Duhane. Along the half wall with the puck. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Sends it quickly to Colton. Takes the feed. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Fires it! Shuts him down! Georgiev's able to put that puck to the corner and it really keeps the puck out of harm's way. No second shot opportunity. Strong defensive effort. That one misses and will play off. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. And he gets his client to stop the pinball shot. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Rontanen's accuracy comes from having the puck flat and settled on the ice, guys. His snipe zone ability is what really lets him pick a spot. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The power play unit goes right back to work. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an urge opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. Let's it go. Delores him again. Well, he has been under siege. I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. The Avs roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five on three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. And that puck leaves the zone. Lekkonen's got it in the defensive end. Quick feed to Makar. And now he tries to get it across to Nichuskin. The Avs take it from the side. 
Here's a short pass to Nichushkin. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Sends the feed in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. And they're going to be shorthanded once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in a game when you're marching to the penalty box. The Avs with a two-man advantage power play coming up. Power play has just been average tonight, James. Not been really awful, but it certainly hasn't been great. But that's the good part. You can make a difference right now. Merrill's loving the puck. On oh, a good textbook. There. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. And that's taken away in the offensive end. Score! Stop going! tie game and you get the nod for the PK, all you want to do is show coach, prove to your team that you can kill it off, but this puck goes the other way, and they wind up breaking the tie by getting the shorty. Unbelievable. Minnesota's got a one goal lead here in period number two. Uh, and it's been an ugly one, hasn't it, James? I mean, they're lucky to have the lead. <laughs> they they have not it. had the puck on their stick, and this is a real deflator for their opponent. Here's a chance! Oh, to so consistent throughout tonight's game and he scores it's him i absolutely love this goal james where there's a will there's a way and it is a fight for possession he's got the puck on his stick he is shielding he's very aware of where he's being jostled and then he takes the shot and buries it well he's got extreme power in strength but then you add that up with his drive to play the game and man is he ever tough to move off the puck and he finds a way to hold on to it he drives play and winds up with a goal here in the back half of this period, we got a tie game. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face off. And he slides it quickly to Byron. Here's a shot. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Takes the pass from the left wing. Puts it on net. Misses the net and will play off. Well, you work so hard to get these opportunities, and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. Rocks him on the play. Moves it quickly over to Duhay. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. And the team's got it here. And it's picked up by the defense. Oh, what a hit there. Nice zone entry on the left side. Granted, it's been tripped up, and we got a coming up here. Let's see what the officials say. Well, it looks like he wasn't ready to play today. He's got that frustrated edge about him and he's put his team in a real bad spot. I'm surprised that he's out there and I'm not sure he's going to get back out once he gets out of the box. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flank, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Still has possession. Receives the pass. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Directs it on over to Nichushkin. Shot! Oh, a clutch save! Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Shot! And that one's turned aside! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Johansson's looking to win this draw, this man advantage here. The Avs win the draw. Turns it aside with the glove. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Rossi's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Takes the pass. And that's blocked in traffic. Moves it to the car. Glove save. 
Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Face-off coming up, and Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. I mean, just look at the last shift. I mean, in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck. Yeah. Scores! And they've gone in front, thanks to the power play goal. Well, it's all about manipulating the PK, and that's what they did so well to take advantage of that opportunity. I like that the shooter had the mentality, just shoot it right away on the inside of the post, just recognizing that there was enough of an opening, and I think that the goaltender thought it was covered. Colorado's jumped in front by a goal here late in period number two, and they have weathered the storm here, Cheryl, but they've gone in front. Well, it isn't over yet, but they certainly are in a good position with the lead heading into the intermission, James. Now it's about staying the course, playing confident, managing the puck, and getting it done. The Avs continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. Minnesota's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. The Avs looking against the half wall. And that's intercepted by Middleton. That's both poor puck and game management, James. When you're up, you want to make sure that you protect the lead. Just a product of trying to do too much there. Sometimes the safe play is the best one. Can't keep a hold of it. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. There's a save. Quick pass to Goudreau. Colorado's got possession at center. The Avs played along the wing. Minnesota's got the puck. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Quick feed to Drouin. Shoot it. Takes a shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Moves the puck. Great heads up play with the stick by McCarr. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Picked up along the wall by McKinnon. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Gustafson. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Gustafson's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. The Avs lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Erickson X won a big draw on their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a short pass to Kaprizov. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Boldy. Back to the blue line. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Just a 
one. Minnesota's moving it into the offensive end. And that one's turned away. Slick feed. Moves it to Addison. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Pops it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. Officials stop the play, finally allowing the injured player to get off the ice. Let's have another look at that hit there, James. I mean, he looks shaken up. Gerard's going to leave the game here, James, and not sure if he'll be back. The reason being is he was hit in the head, and you can certainly see that he looks almost dazed, so they'll have to enforce some protocols to make sure he's ready to go if he does come back. And I think what we know now from a societal standpoint, the head injuries, I mean, this is a very, very concerning issue for them. Sends a pass over. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Brody. to go. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Can hang on to the puck after taking it off. Quick pass to Duhame. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Handles the puck. Into the attacking end. Moves it to the middle. And he scores! I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Colorado's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. McKinnon's won the draw. McCarr's got the puck in his own zone. Straight up the middle, here they come. And that's hooked away. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The Avs gain control of the puck. Colorado's looking to break out. Slides the puck across to Brodine. Quick feed to Eric Smith. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Avs have recently taken a two goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And he takes the pass. From center they get into the attacking area. And he takes the feed. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Kaprizov. Taken down, and the officials caught it. And let's see what the call is. This is a frustrating situation. James just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man is if ineffective. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Broken up by Hartman. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they clear that puck. Smart defensive play there. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Fast and quick lead pass. Puck grab by Byron. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Here they come on the attack. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Colorado's he's got a step. Oh, and the defender had a different idea there. Well, he thought he had it, and then the defender comes out of nowhere wide. Jumps to the puck, fights for position, and negates that opportunity. They get it out of the defensive end. Tries to feed it over to Eric Sinek. Power play has expired. That's not going to fool him. 
In the game of hockey, you can't worry about what happened on your last PK. You got to get out there and you got to find a way to do it. Otherwise, the coach is going to put another unit out there. Colorado's got the edge of the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Minnesota's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Turns aside the slap shot, wow! Past the midway mark of the frame, the Avs lead at 4-2. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Middleton. Oh, that just goes wide! Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless, this is the net. That knocks him off the puck. Moves it quickly over to Kaprizov. Georgiev's up. Get to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Who had the edge? Carlin standing by with the answer. McKinnon's really impressed me tonight, guys. Both players we highlighted earlier have got points in this game, but I just really like how engaged he's been in this one. I'm giving the edge to him for using his zone ability to his advantage. Moves it to Landeskog. Scores! The captain comes through! Oh, the goaltender has no chance on this one as his teammate just makes a gift of a pass right into his wheelhouse and he just powders it by. Pleased with their effort here, they continue to attack offensively in the third. This is a feel-good game, James, and you have to embrace these types of games. They don't always happen when everyone's got it working for themselves. They're communicating, they've got good habits, and they're filling the net. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Addison's moving the puck through his own zone. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. There's the whistle, and here's the call. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Gerard's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is that tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Hartman's had the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Colorado's gonna start with the puck at their own end. And the puck clears the zone. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Taze. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Quick pass to Johansson. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. Quick feed to Hartman. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Foligno. Back at the point, he set it up. And he's able to handle that one. Quick pass over to Boldy. There's back-to-back -back saves. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself. Oh, and there's another power play goal. Well, yeah, practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel, the coaching staff, they showed them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. Minnesota's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. Gains the zone from the right. Minnesota's got the puck against the ball. He scores! That's how you do it! Leadership to a team! The captain capitalizes! Well, this is a really smart shot from traffic.
Catholic James, the recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Minnesota's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the O-zone. A chance in front! Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. The Avs have been going in one direction all night long. And that's to the net, and they lead it here late in this third period. Puck picked up by Kaprizov. The Avs take possession in the defensive end. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. That's a smart play at this time of the game, James. Just to put the puck in deep, kill some valuable clock. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. In desperate need of a goal here, they've got the extra attacker out. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. They've got the extra attacker out here for the face off. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. They win the face off here in their own end and take possession. The Avs take it along the wing. Fires towards the empty net. Scores! Into the empty net. This was right in my wheelhouse, James. These were the type of moments that I played in, and everyone can take a breath now that the insurance marker has hit the 4x6. Well, you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. The Avalanche have added an empty netter, and I'd say that's all she wrote. That is all. Wrote. That's all they wrote. No <laughs> question about it, James. And you know, you're all under all kinds of pressure, and you finally get it down the ice, and you, you put it in the four by six. That's a great score. So just like that, they take that momentum away. Well, that's a huge shift. I mean, listen, your opponent scores, and instead of allowing them to build the confidence on it, they stop it right away. That's exactly what you want to do if you want to be a competitive team. Well, the goaltender makes their way to the bench, so the extra attacker is on. It's all about urgency, being first to the puck, owning it, and look to attack at all costs. The Avs are looking to close things out. They have been dominant all night long, and they continue to lead late in the third. McKinnon's won the draw inside the neutral zone. From the left side, takes it at center. And that'll do it from ringside here. Well, the shooters had to work tonight, but they certainly got a lot of target practice, Cheryl. Yeah, they did. They had that shoot-first mentality as they continue to just put the puck to the net from all areas of the ice. And sometimes the rebound, that's what you're looking for on those dead-angle shots. But eventually it paid off for them. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. See ya.